another episode of How to Pass the Math FSA 4th Grade Edition. This is our standard for today. It's maths.4.md.2.4. For us, that means it's Lesson 23, Line Plots with Fractions. I love line plots. They are so much fun, and I love fractions, so it's like the best of both worlds. Um, before we begin, you'll notice that I am working on problems. I have, let's see, I've got four problems for you for this lesson. Um, and what I want you to do is click the link in the description box below if you haven't already. That will take you to how to complete the math FSA, the complete guide where you get these problems along with additional practice problems to help you improve and really <clears throat> get to that level four, level five, above level, status for the math FSA. Um, so you can work out the problems with me. Let's do this, let me teach you. Example one, a line plot with student heights is given. Here we go, so we have some X's here. Boom, okay. So the question is, Greg is four eighths of a foot shorter than the tallest person. How tall in feet is Greg? All right, so first it says that he is shorter than the tallest person. So the tallest person is right over here. It's this guy right here. This little X is representing the tallest person. And I know this because this is the feet. This is five feet, this is six feet. So the one with the tallest amount is right here but I need to figure out the fraction. I know that it's five, and now I just need to figure out the fraction that goes with it because it's in between the five and the six. So let me count how many jumps there are between five and six. That would be, since I'm working with eighths, let me see if it's broken into eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, it is, so how many eighths? is this tall guy. He is five and one, two, three, four, five eighths. So this guy is five and five eighths, <coughs> excuse me, five and five eighths of a foot tall, feet tall, I'm sorry. And Greg is four eighths foot shorter, which means we need to subtract. So five and five eighths minus four and four eighths, well, five minus nothing here would be five, and now I subtract the fractions. Five eighths minus four eighths would be one eighth. So how tall is he? He is five and one eighth of a uh, feet tall. Example two, Hercules. Fun fact, as I was creating this problem, I happened to be watching the movie Hercules. I can go the distance. Da -na -na -da. Uh, somehow, okay, anyway. Hercules recorded the results for his top four long jumps. The total length of all his jumps was 55 feet. So a long jump is when you're running, 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 you get to the line and you go, when you jump and you jump into the sand. That's a long jump. So he does a bunch, he does four long jumps so he does one long jump. He does two, he does three, and he does four. And all together, that would be 55 feet. Okay? Um, using the number line below, create a possible line plot for his data. So what we need to do is place four X's up here to represent the jump. Each X represents a jump our jump total needs to equal 55. So I'm gonna start kinda of easy. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna take my total, and I'm gonna subtract the smallest, 14. I'm sorry, 13. 13. So, five minus three is two, five minus one is four, that's 42. Now I'm gonna subtract another 13, just to kinda of see where I am. 2 minus 3, we can't do that, so we regroup. That becomes 12. 12 minus 3 is 9, and 3 minus 1 is 2, 29. So I have 29, and I have two more jumps. We're saying the first jump was 13, 
The second jump was 13. And now let me play with the fractions a little bit. So let me see. I think, I think 14 plus 14 is 28. So if I did 14 and a half plus, yeah, 14 and a half. So 14 plus 14 would be 28, and a half plus a half equals a whole, which equals 29. Oh, yeah. So I'm doing 13. I'm doing 13. That's two jumps. And I, he did 14 jumps at 14 and a half. That is one possible solution. Now, here's my challenge to you. Come up with some more. Okay, this isn't the only one. When you come up with some more, justify your answer and comment back to me and say, Dear Miss McCarthy, these are the following line jumps that I plotted on my line plot. Okay, we are on example three. Carly recorded the time it took for her to read four books. I love that you are reading, girlfriend. The total time that it took for Carly to read all of the books was 59 hours. So she read four books. It took her 59 hours. The time it took for Carly to read the first two books is shown on the number line. So one book took her 15 hours to read. The other book took her 15 and a half. So let me just model here visually what's going on. Here's a book. We know it took her 15 minutes to read, 15 hours to read the first book. Took 15 and a half hours to read the second book. It took, we don't know, and we don't know to read the third book and fourth book, but all together it was 59 hours. Okay, so which of the following could be the times of the two remaining books? Okay, so if we know the total is 59 hours, we can go ahead and add up what she's currently read and subtract it from our 59 hours to see what is still remaining. And that will help us narrow down the answer choices. All right, so we know that 15 plus 15 and a half. We know 15 plus 15 is 30. And we just add that half onto it. So now we need to subtract to see what we are missing. So 59 minus 30 and a half. And we learned in the past that if you don't have the right fractions, you need to create it. So 59 is actually 58 and two halves because two halves equals one and one plus 58 is 59. And I'm, I'm going to subtract 30 and a half. So 58 minus 30 is 28. 2 halves minus 1 half is 1 half. So I know that my answer needs to be, um, when I add up the two hours, the two book total times, I need to get 59 and a half. So let's look at A. A says 14 hours and 14 hours. 14 plus 14 equals 28 hours, but I need to find 28 and a half hours. 14 plus 15 equals 29, close, but I need to find 28 and a half, almost there. 14 and 14 and a half equals 28 and a half. That's looking like the right one. 14 and a half plus 14 and a half. Well, 14 plus 14 is 28. Half plus a half equals one, so 28 plus one equals 29. The only correct one would be C. All right, everybody, we are on example number four. Andrew measures the lengths of leaves and records the data in the chart below. Okay, so here are the measurement in inches. We see three, five and a half, four and a fourth, five and one half, four and one fourth, and four and three fourths. Okay, so now I'm going to create a line plot of the data. All right, so three, the X is gonna go right here over the three. For five and a half, I need to find five 
And then the halfway mark right here, I'm going to place an X. I'm going to put little check marks as I go. Four and one fourth. Need to find where it's broken into fourths. Here's one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. So four and a fourth would be right there. Five and a half again is right here. So put another X on top. Four and a fourth is right where we put the last one. And four and three fourths, so four and one fourth, four and two fourths, four and three fourths is right there. So that is what your line plot should look like. All right, everybody, that is a wrap for today. Um, but before you go, here is your motivational message, something to help inspire you and motivate you to be a better person. Today, this comes from Becky Bailey. She says, what you focus on, you get more of. If you focus on getting an A and you do everything that it takes to get an A and you focus, 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 you're going to get that A. If you focus on passing the FSA and you do everything, all of your energy is focused on passing the FSA, you are going to do it. If you're going to get more of it, you're going to get more, it's going to happen. <laughs> if you focus on earning more money, and you keep doing whatever it takes to earn more money, it's going to happen. If you focus on losing weight and you do whatever it takes to keep focusing your energy on losing weight, you will, okay? So what you focus on, you get more of. So the question is, what do you wanna focus on? How do you wanna focus your energy to be a better person? You, what are you focusing on? Comment below, let me know. I would love to hear about it.